Hey guys, Caleb's EDC Corner here, and today I want to do a uh, quick unboxing for you. This is from DLT Trading, and uh, if you know anything about DLT Trading, the shipping is super fast on this. They get it out the same day, I mean within like 30 minutes to an hour, I'm getting shipping notification. And then just a couple days later, it arrives. Um, they, I don't know if they bribed the post office or what, but uh, they're always <laughs> just super stellar on their uh, shipping. Jason and the crew over there do an amazing job. So I wanted to show you this. This is a GEC. And um, what's cool about this, this is model 87 in here, and this is the English Jack. And um, it is the smooth dyed camel bone. And the cool thing is, is you don't know what color you're going to get. And so I thought I would um, unbox this for you guys and we can check out the color together. i um, using my Oz Company Roosevelt uh, to open this up. Wonderful, wonderful knife. So smooth. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so there's that. We have an invoice, which I won't bother you with. And then, per usual, we have a DLT sticker. If you've seen my other videos, you, you know that on my safe, I've got, it's just uh, <laughs> covered with DLT stickers, knife ship free stickers. Uh, really, anybody that sends me a sticker is getting put on my safe. Um, so I love these stickers. They always send a sticker out. Um, all right, let's open this up. So it's wrapped up, wrapped up in this paper here. And uh, there it is. This is the uh, GEC number 87, smooth dyed camel bone. Get you in the frame here. And yeah, uh, just really cool. Let's see here. Let's see what it says. Great Eastern Cutlery, unexcelled, number 87, English Jack, smooth dyed camel bone. All right, well, let's open it up and grab a key here to pop the, the top off of this. All right, there's no pin in this one. Uh, they must have just put the pins in the, uh, in the very initial run of these, but let's see what we got. Uh, and if you open up uh, GEC, you have to smell this. It, it just smells like a machine shop. It's wonderful um, and these are wrapped up in uh, wax paper which is very traditional oh wow <laughs> that is so cool oh man I don't think I've seen one like this before um, wow it's just like luck of the draw really what you get um, so as you can see there's like kind of a cream colored um, on the bone and then you see these just red kind of burgundy streaks in with it. That is so cool. Wow. Um, all right, so just initial impressions. Um, it, it looks to me that all of the transitions are smooth. Uh, nothing's sticking up. I don't see, I don't see any gaps in the back, which is great. The blades are perfectly centered. If you can catch that there. So let's, uh, oh man. Yeah, the pull on this is great. I, I would put it at about a six or a seven, which is perfect for me. There it is, let's check for blade play. All right, I don't have any blade wobble, which is great. And then we have a secondary blade here. All right, so this is the English Jack. And I'm really happy with this one. Uh, it really came out cool. I mean, yeah, that's super unique. Um, and just like another streak right there in the striation of the bone. Um, wow, that is so cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.